when I first started in the paper cutting, this is going back to Abbotsford, Frank Conroy says to me, I want you to go down to the carpenter shop and get the long weight. So I went down the stairs and went to the carpenter shop and I seen the, the boss and I said, Frank sent me down for the long weight. He says, sit over there. So I sit over there and I'm there for about half an hour. He says, it's not ready yet. He says, you better come back tomorrow. You get it, the long weight? <laughs> First of all, I just started as a, a roll room boy. That means to say, as the rolls come off the machines, the big coated black and white rolls, I would take them around the roll rooms and rack them. Then I went from there onto the re-reeling, that's re-reeling the product, and then from re-reeling to coating it. When we went to Coburg, they had a system, because the track was oh, state-of-the-art, you know, real modern. Everything was made of stainless steel. And when you went into the coating room, you was all dressed in white, you had overshoes, you went through a man cleaner, like a, a, putting you through a vacuum cleaner. It, it was that clean, it was unbelievable. The floors were spotless, everything was spotless. When I went from Abbotsford to Coburg, I went into the store using the forklift because I wanted to get out in the white light. You know, like I wanted not to be in the dark room all the time. And then I was offered the job in safe lighting safe white servicemen, that's all they called us, is if they put in the wrong globe, if you put a 60 watt globe in there, fog the product. So it was very important. People used to think we're just globe jockeys, no way. Put the wrong globe in, you're in big trouble. Amber filters, red filters, green filters, we, we had them listed like a, ma like a manual. We'd have a, a floor plan and we'd We'd, we'd have to map out where the safe lighting was on that floor plan. Plus you'd have a hand torch, safe light torch, which I'd make little filters for. But getting up in the dark room on the ladder, you up a fair height. And I started to get disorientated. And then they grounded me. But because I couldn't do that, that got me out of safe lighting. And they're looking for a job for me. So then I asked one of the engineering bosses what I could do. He said, well, look, there's a planning job going over and field group one, do you reckon you could do it? I said, I don't know. He said, give it a go. So they sent me over there for a trial. One of the ladies in engineering helped me out. She'd sit down on the computer with me and help me do all the the work like that I that I wasn't used to. I'd never been on a computer before. And I gradually adopted it. And then after a while, I got a flair for it. I had good user codec. Can't growl at all. <laughs> 